G'day YouTube. This is just a quick look at the latest release of Linux Mint 18.2, the XFCE uh, Desktop Edition. Now, if this was Ubuntu, it would be known as Zubuntu with an X, but uh, this is indeed just the XFCE version of Linux Mint, latest release 18.2. Now, starting off, uh, just a really quick overview and a look at this one. So, as you can see, uh, we are using that uh, that more lightweight desktop environment there. It's actually fairly bare bones, but it, it does seem to do and have everything that you need there. Um, I find that I have actually used it as a main desktop in the past, and that was great, that's good. And if we actually go to the system monitor here, or at least the... Uh, uh, I suppose the terminal version of a system monitor doesn't seem to use much uh, too much resources here about 300 megabytes of RAM uh, Just with a couple of things open not really too much though to be honest and uh, fairly good with the CPU there as well So that's really good to see now in terms of the actual file manager itself or the uh, the window manager We should call it it is uh, this is a fairly bare-bones lightweight Thuna the Thuna 1.6.11 so it, uh, it actually looks quite nice. I, in fact, I somehow prefer it over the look of the, the, the flashy KDE Dolphin uh, window manager there. It's just, uh, it's actually very Ubuntu-esque, actually, I find, the Unity one. So uh, that's pretty much it. It uh, doesn't do a great deal, but it um, doesn't do too little either. It's a, it's a window manager, hey, what can I say? Uh, moving on, uh, in terms of the, the kernel, so this is Linux Mint 18.2, so let's go into the terminal and see what the kernel is. Now, as we might guess, it's 4.8, which isn't the latest and greatest Linux uh, kernel, which is about 4.10, 4.11 at the moment, but Linux Mint is known for uh, sort of staving off on the, the latest release of the kernels, just for stability purposes, and, you know, good for them in a way. Uh, moving on, what else do we have? So we can actually, uh, you can actually download this in the 32 and 64-bit variants for a uh, PC. Now, I guess part of that is uh, if you do have an older desktop or a laptop, that's great. I would probably recommend the 32-bit variant of this operating system here because um, that's what it's all about. Uh, most people are going to download and use this because it is a lighter weight uh, version than uh, the standard run-of-the-mill Linux Mint, the Cinnamon release default there or the KDE definitely don't want to put KDE on a on a uh, older laptop for example uh, let's see so all in all fairly good solid distribution um, it's got a few apps here and there something I generally don't get into with these quick reviews because you can pretty much download what you want anyway and install it through the terminal or wherever you wish so uh, yeah just a super quick look at the latest release Linux Mint 18 uh, yeah the XFCE edition so cheers guys hope you've enjoyed